Hi guys, uh, we're here at LM Creations. My name is Luke, uh, the guys from my ASAP are here to show me their new product. Uh, I'm very, very curious to how it will work. Uh, as you know, we, we do a lot of motorcycle uh, reverse engineering and design work and we do a lot of 3D scanning as well. Um, but we have had some interferences with smaller parts uh, such as these uh, with the reference on the features that it will mimic the inside as the outside surface. So we are hoping that their uh, frame will actually help us with fix it, that, fixing that problem and uh, yeah, so it's time to unbox the, unbox the case and see what we have. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'll just try to uh, assemble it as I'll think <laughs> how it needs to go together. It's all 3D printed, so that's really nice. You can see the little inserts on the inside, so you know how to uh, screw it all together. There's some bigger holes in there as well. This one's set top. Uh, I expect these to be the four legs that we need. Oh, this got inserted threading on the parts. Yeah, it goes in really nice. It doesn't matter which one we use. Let's do it nice and tight. It's really light as well, so it's not heavy. It feels sturdy. So now we have the frame together. Um, Really sturdy, really nice and strong. Um, so we need to get this fixed up in here. Um, so yeah, now let's try to figure out how all of this works. We'll probably take out all the parts first and see what we have. So we have two types of uh, structures. Uh, one that's fixable with, um, with, with nuts and bolts. And the other one is more like your average uh, Camera, stand, legs, like the... And since this part is not really heavy, I'll probably just use both. So now we will do the top ones as well. Those are a little bit different. Um, this one will probably go in like that. Oh, no, we'll probably do cross wire from the other one. It really feels sturdy, so you don't really need to bother about bumping into it. It's, it's not fragile at all. And it's not your average normal PLA 3D print. As you, if you feel the product, you can definitely feel that it's a whole lot better. So now we have it set up with a few arms and we'll just try and get it in there and maybe change a few things uh, to actually make it uh, work properly. It's actually, they articulate really well. They're really easy to manipulate and get in the, into the spot where you would actually want to have them. Grip also feels nice with the ends having a little bit of uh, well, these ones don't. <laughs> oh, these are different ones. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you got ones that are a little bit more uh, grippy and metal, and the other ones actually have a little bit of rubber on them to make them grippy as well. Probably depends on what you're gonna put in there. Now let's just see how we can set these up. Put it like that. Before we first grab it somewhere, then tighten it down. Yeah, that's the way to do it. So we finished up the frame. We put in the parts. We adjusted a few things. So we lengthened this arm and we replaced it from, uh, relocated it from there to here uh, to make it a little bit easier to get the product in there. And as you can see, it's really nice and sturdy in there. There's almost no vibration at all. Um, and my guess would be to first spray it and then put on the stickers. Uh, because they also have the stickers that will stick to the spray in comparison to other brands. Um, so yeah.
this also makes spraying a lot easier. Because you don't have to worry anymore about putting your fingerprints on the, on the part. Seems fully covered. We can start putting the dots on the frame itself. So I use their three millimeter uh, dots. And you probably normally just leave the frame with the dots as is. So you only have to assemble it once. Uh, and it just only took me about 30 minutes to do it the first time. Of course, putting the stickers on as randomly as possible. So uh, we have it all set up and in the fixture. Uh, my idea would how to use the target frame. You could either have the target frame in one hand and the scanner in the other hand. Um, but what I would like to try is to have the scanner fixed on the tripod and just move the target frame around. So you just only have to focus on uh, one thing, just uh, well, two things, the target frame and what you're actually scanning instead of how you hold everything all together and it makes it really easy as well and then you can see it's quite easy to just move around the target frame itself to get the scan in there just make sure that your hand is not in the way which actually doesn't really matter anyway uh, as long as you're not covering up all the uh, markers <laughs> So uh, there we have it, we finished up the scan. It took us a little bit longer than normal because of course we're figuring out how everything works. Um, but what I wanted to know is what I uh, was asking in the beginning as well, if you could properly scan uh, the part with the inner and the outer layer and getting the correct thickness uh, on the component. And as you can now see uh, uh, on the screen, uh, we actually have that uh, nice thickness in the in the 3d scan of the of the product itself so now we will just wait for uh, the spray to uh, dissolve on its own so the frame was definitely a big addition to uh, 3d scanning but i'm very pleased with the end result and how it works and it's really nice, sturdy, easy to set up, and it's, uh, it's just an easy, easy additional and a really great tool for 3D scanning. And I would definitely get one because it makes my life a whole lot easier. <laughs>